Washington, and this is Mary Elizabeth. Um, she was diagnosed when she was four months old. Um, she was born full term, and what we thought was healthy, and she started crying and screaming at about two weeks old or so, and she just didn't stop. And so we went from doctor to doctor to try to figure out what was wrong with her and what was causing her pain. Um, when she was about eight weeks old, she started doing some posturing stuff that we suspected uh, was seizures. And um, when she was 12 weeks old, we got in to see the neurologist and had EEG and an MRI and found out that she had a pretty severe brain injury um, that happened in utero. Um, and we don't know, we still don't really know what or why. Um, I know, we don't know what or why. So, but it was about 12 weeks old that we found out what we suspected before then. We have tried all the treatments. <laughs> and we've done it, we've done everything. Um, when she was four months old, she got in to uh, like traditional PT, OT, speech therapy, vision therapy. Um, we did water, like aquatic therapy. Uh, we've done hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which we saw some improvements with. We, we were pleased with that. Um, she does uh, something called the Feldenkrais method, which is the same as um, the Anat Manual method, which some people who have kids with special needs will maybe have heard of that before, the ABM method. Um, and then we also do cranial sacral therapy and um, she gets uh, homeopathic remedies. So, a little bit of everything. <laughs> we, came, we heard about you guys from, I have a friend who lives in Connecticut and she has a three-year-old little boy who has similar, um, similar issues as Mary Elizabeth. And so, um, she told us about you guys, and then we just, we had been doing some research before that uh, on stem cells, and we had spoke to uh, Duke University in Georgia, who were doing trials of kids in the United States who had their own cord blood, who had banked it, and we didn't because we thought Mary Elizabeth was healthy and quote-unquote normal when she was born, um, and so we weren't eligible for those. So we had already started to do a little bit of research, and then when I talked with this other mom, Stephanie, uh, I realized, and she had already been there once, and her friend, uh, Carolyn Catalano, who has the big girl Holly, had been here a few times already, and so I spoke with them on the phone and did some more research and felt pretty comfortable about coming here. So we came here in September of 2012, the first time, and this is our second visit. Um, the first, the first treatment. Uh, overall, I'll just say in general what we noticed was um, her upper body. She's very stiff. She's spastic in her legs and her arms, and she has low tone in her trunk. And her upper body, we noticed a pretty significant improvement. Um, her range of motion, where she couldn't lift her arms over her head before, now she can do that on both sides easily. Um, and her hands, she were, was in tight little fists most of the time, whereas now if she is in a fist, it's very loose, but most of the time she kind of has her hands relaxed. So that was a big improvement for us. It's small but significant um, for our family. Uh, her vision has improved, um, not necessarily distance, but just as far as like what I think is seeing details. So she would be able to tell the difference between you and me if we didn't say anything yeah. in the room, whereas before, she, I don't think she could do that. I think she would rely on smell and hearing more than her vision, whereas now she uses her vision a lot more. So that's been um, an improvement that we've seen. She is more involved in the world around her, uh, wants to be more involved in, her, in the world around her, so that's good. Uh, she has definitely, she doesn't say, um, Mama, Dad, Dad, Baba, yet, but she definitely is making more vocalizations and making more sounds and trying to experiment with her voice, which is a positive thing. Um, and she is trying different ways of communicating versus just screaming, which is what she did before, because that's all she knew how to do. 
and now she is um, kind of fussing, or uh, sometimes she'll just kind of like yell and then stop and wait for me to answer versus just going from zero to scream. So her communication has improved as well. Um, one thing that we were not expecting that we were pleased about is an improvement in her seizures. Uh, that wasn't something that we had even, I, I don't know, I guess it just didn't occur to us that maybe this would help, be helpful with that. But before we came the first time in September, uh, she had been sick and we actually had to delay our trip twice uh, because she had bronchiolitis and she was just having a really hard time. And she was having um, a lot of seizures. We had to add a new seizure medicine to try to get them under control. And she was still having six or seven short, like myoclonic jerks every day. Um, and the first time we were here by about Thursday, uh, which was like day three of treat of stem cells, um, we noticed that she hadn't had a seizure that day, whereas before she was having six or seven a day. And so um, that was one thing, like I said, it was surprising, but it was a nice, a nice surprise that that has, uh, those have improved since we've been here. Um, and she will still have breakthrough seizures every now and then when she's sick, uh, teething, but she, um, we haven't gone back to that uh, where she was having them on a regular basis. So that's good. That's been a good improvement. Um, since we've been here this time, I haven't really seen anything that I could say, oh, I think that's the stem cells yet. But I do know that last time it did take um, a couple of weeks for us to notice, you know, or to really pinpoint and say, yes, we think that's the stem cells. There's no way she could have done that before. So, and all of our therapists agree that her range of motion and her upper body for sure um, and her vision uh, would not have been the way they were without coming here. So that's good. Awesome. Yay! <laughs>
even to the minute we stepped off the plane and the first time we came in the clinic, I was just so worried that, you know, what if I, you know, what if we do something and, and she is worse? Because, we, you know, we were, we were happy, but we just wanted to help Mary Elizabeth. And I, and I feel like, um, I feel like talking to other moms about that uh, would help kind of ease some of those fears because I do, I do feel like we've done a ton of research and I feel like this is a safe option. Um, for other people and other moms, for cerebral palsy, you know, for the for brain injuries, and I do think that I never once while I've been here have felt like, okay, maybe this isn't the right decision. That's it. Do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? He's smiling. Can you say hi?